well hey guys today I'm going to show you a beautiful room decor project that you can make with glass bottles yarn and fake flowers this project is of course perfect for Mother's Day which is coming up in just a couple of days if you guys want to see more room decor projects then please give this video a big thumbs up and also if you enjoy my videos and you're not yet subscribed then please do so I hope you enjoy this video now let's get into wrapping bottles with yarn for this project, you'll need a clean glass bottle or vase. You can either purchase these from any craft store or places like Target, the Dollar Store, Walmart, or you can use recycled ones from any beverage. I'm also using artificial flowers. And of course, various colors of yarn. Here are all my lovely flowers. I purchased all of these from the floral section of Michael's Craft Store. I'm grabbing a vase and some tacky glue. I like tacky glue better than Elmer's School glue because it's a little bit more pasty and not as runny. So it just helps the yarn stick. It just it works better for this project in my opinion. I'm also using a pretty pair of scissors and now I'm just pulling out random colors of yarn to make this footage look pretty but you'll actually see I'm not covering this face with any of those colors. Now the actual color of yarn I'm using, it's going to make it look kind of wickery or hempy. Here I am starting at the bottom of my vase. You can definitely start at the top if you want, it's all up to you. But then I'm just going to spread a thin layer of tacky glue in a small section, probably an inch or two. You just want to work in small sections at a time so it doesn't dry too fast. Once it's coated, you're going to get one end of yarn and you don't want to cut it off yet. You just want to keep it connected to the entire thing and then you're just going to carefully wrap that around. Take your time at the very beginning because you want it to look really nice. Basically the rest of this tutorial is really, really self-explanatory because all you're going to do is just wrap yarn around a million gazillion times or until the vase is full or the bottle is full, whatever you're using. But you just want to make sure that it lines up well and after every few uh, wraps that they're all the same height so you can push it down a little bit with your fingers if it gets kind of off track and there's a lot of spaces in between your string it's all cool just do what you need to now you can see that my vase is about halfway wrapped it's a good idea to kind of dab some of that excess glue off because you'll see at the end of this video that those parts dried darker on my vase but it kind of still looked cool because it gave it a natural effect. Once you get to the very tip top of your vase or bottle you're just going to wrap it around until you can't wrap it no more and then you're going to take a pair of scissors and trim a trim it trim it you're gonna trim it and then make sure the end of the yarn is secure. Now you're going to want to let it dry for a little while before messing around with putting flowers inside. The flowers that I got are all really tall so that means that I have to trim down the stems. Sometimes you can do this with just a pair of scissors in your hands because you can kind of bend the wire inside and it will snap. But if it's being particularly tricky then you can use a pair of wire cutters. Now you can see my completed vase. It's really pretty, but there are some dark spots. It's okay. For this one, I'm going to use Julet Jewel Glue to attach some colorful rhinestones to the yarn. Now you can see all of my beautiful creations. The center bottle, the silver one with the black flowers inside, that guy took me two and a half hours to wrap. So I was using a really thin yarn and a big bottle. For the white one, I wrapped that in about 30 minutes. And for the green and blue and magenta one, that was easy too. It was a little under an hour. The pink stripey vase is actually a multicolor yarn, so that is a good one to use if you want a really cool effect. 
And here's what I did with the purple glass bottle. I just wrapped the top half with yarn and then I added a pretty fabric bow. So pretty so if you end up making your own yarn wrapped bottle then please use hashtag so on Instagram to show me and also let me know which bottle of mine is your favorite leave it in the comment section below I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful DIY if you end up making your own yarn wrapped bottle then please send me pictures using hashtag so on Instagram you can also send photos via my Twitter and my Facebook fan page this is a great project like I said to give to your mother if you guys have leftover yarn from a couple weeks ago when we made yarn fishtail bracelets on the loom then you can just use it up on these bottles they're also great for room decor, home decor. I wouldn't recommend displaying them outside like I did in my footage. I just wanted to get some pretty backgrounds and this apartment isn't cutting it. So yeah, that's why I filmed them outside. Last week on Crafty Friday, I showed you guys how to decoupage your shoes. These are shoes that I actually started making a really long time ago, years ago. And I just decided to finish them last week and show you guys because I promised you that a long time ago. So anyway, these candy wrapper shoes are Starburst wrapper shoes. And a lot of you asked me if I ate a lot of candy. You're like, whoa, you ate a lot of Starbursts. I'm like, no. I ask people to eat candy for me because... I may have eaten three Starburst candies this entire year, maybe. Anyway, you guys sent me some photos of your candy wrapper project, so let's check them out. Check them out. Here they come. You guys are super creative. Thank you so much for sending those photos to me. Remember to check out all of my links in the down bar. Subscribe to this So Craftastic channel if you haven't already, because I put out new crafty videos every single Friday for Crafty Friday, which is what you were watching today. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. What was that? Bye. Huh. I had an eyelash on my lips. Shoot. But you can pick some real run ones. Runge. Real runge. Real runge. Real runge. Raggy. Ruby doo. And recycle glass, recycle glass, recycle glass, I cannot speak. Don't speak. I know what you're thinking. And I don't need no reason. Don't tell me. It doesn't really hurt. Recycled glass, recycled gla Why can I not talk? Breathe. <sighs> Take 57. I don't even know how many times I've messed up today. Is that a bug? <gasps> There's an ant on my tripod? Oh no, it's not moving. And if you haven't subscribed to my So Craftastic channel yet, channel yet, I was running out of breath. Yarn bottle wrapped by the bottle. I'm having major issues today. Major. Totally. Totally. Last week on Crafty Friday, I clicked my heels together three times and I returned home. That was so stupid, Sarah.